Right, so today we're going to be looking at how to downgrade from the Catalina to the Mojave Mac OS operating system. So firstly, we're going to start by downloading the Mojave from the Mac App Store. I will drop the link in the description so you can connect to the App Store and um, get the Mojave. And you can get the Mojave in the App Store simply by clicking get. And, you know, Mojave starts to um, download onto, say, for example, your downloads folder. For personal reasons, I want to downgrade from the Catalina to the Mojave because the Catalina, for me, um, performance is quite slow. And Catalina doesn't support 32-bit um, apps, which I want to keep. You can, and you can tell that we've successfully downloaded Mojave because it's saying that the copy of the installed media is too old for the application. Um, which in, in question is Catalina. Um, so what we want to do is to downgrade from the Catalina to the Mojave. So using the finder, um, we click the go button and then we go to the applications to identify the Mojave with, which we've just downloaded. And then subsequently use the finder go button to access utilities and to pop up the terminal um, window, which we're going to use to execute certain commands. So Basically, a quick synopsis of what we're trying to do is first to delete our hard drive, which has the Catalina operating system. And before we do that, we'll make sure we have enough storage to install the Mojave, which is about six um, gigabytes. Here, I have got a 32 gigabytes flash drive, and that should be more than enough to, um, to accommodate the six gigabytes Mojave that we're trying to install. So it's important that you have adequate space on your flash drive and you also have adequate space on your internal hard drive, okay? And before you use any flash drive, it's always advisable that you format your flash drive. So in this case, I'll be formatting um, the 32 git um, flash drive. I'll be naming it the Mojave um, install media. So I will be formatting by clicking the erase button as well as you know, selecting the appropriate format, which is um, XFAT, so that it's compatible with Windows and Mac. So the basic steps are, we're deleting the Catalina that's been installed on our internal hard drive. Then subsequently, subsequently installing the Mojave install media on our flash drive so that we can boot from the flash drive and once we've deleted our Catalina um, operating system on the internal hard drive, we cannot boot from the Catalina internal hard drive. So we would need the flash drive, okay? So we'd click on our Go Finder to access the terminal and type in the sudo code. Sudo, in this instance, allows a user to execute a command with super user privileges. So it, without the need to authenticate as the super user, you know, it will prompt you with a password at a certain point in time. So um, the user has to authenticate themselves. Suffice to say, sudo will check to see whether the user is authorized to use sudo. So we use the Go Finder to access applications and install media, which is the Mojave. We left click on the install Mac OS and click on show package contents click on contents and resources and then move the install create media a space bar after sudo after the space bar type dash dash volume to install um, the Mojave that's already been installed on our flash drive so, so dash dash volume use our go finder um, go to computer and access the Mojave on the um, flash drive then we drag the Mojave onto um, the terminal. So go finder, computer, um, Mojave, drag the Mojave onto the terminal. Click exactly a space bar after the Mojave and um, hit enter, which is like the square or rectangular icon that you see that you click on that, hit enter. And, you know, put your user password, what you're actually using, logging onto your computer. You put that in there. Even if it's not visible that you're typing through, but type through your password and hit enter. Okay. And when it prompts you with, do you wish to continue? You type Y, which means yes. Okay. 
So subsequently, your terminal will try to access your removable flash drive and to install the Mojave, which we've just downloaded and dragged onto the terminal. So we're going to click OK. So whilst it's doing this, it will erase um, everything on your flash drive and install the Mojave, um, which we've just downloaded. So it's always a good idea that before you do this, make sure you've backed up all your files on your flash drive if it's not a brand new flash drive, OK? And from here, in a short while, the installed media, which we downloaded from the App Store, will be available on our flash drive. OK, it's important that the flash drive is formatted so that you don't have any corruption issues or errors um, when you're trying to boot from your flash drive. So make it as simple as possible. Make sure you've got enough space on your flash drive and you should be fine. The installation was successful. Data capacity has increased um, using Get Info. And so from here, um, we can restart the system and eject the um, flash drive. So just note that if we had used an undersized flash drive to install the Mojave in the terminal, it would have failed. So just be wary of that. For those of you who might try to use a 2 gigabyte flash drive to install a 6 gigabyte um, Mojave um, Create Media, it wouldn't work. You'd have to have the appropriate um, flash drive. Whilst restarting, hold down the command button and the R button R for Romeo to bring up the Mac OS utilities. So the next step is to delete the Catalina operating system on our hard drive. And we'll be doing this in the disk utility. So click on disk utility. So I will be deleting the Macintosh um, internal hard drive and the Orion um, hard drive and that's because um, my hard drive which is 500 gigabytes is partitioned into 250 gigabytes and 250 gigabytes um, worth of data is split into two um, but you know you might have if you if you do it this way you might have um, errors when you're trying to recover from time machine so I would advise that you click for those of you who you know are trying to recover from the time machine I would say go to your top left hand corner you see the view button and you click on the overarching internal hard drive and erase the hard drive, okay? Um, so that you'd avoid, you know, having errors when you're, you know, performing the time machine backup. But this is fine for me, okay? You can do it either way, it's fine. Here, I'll be right clicking on the overarching um, internal hard drive and erasing um, just for demonstration purposes. If you delete the overarching internal hard drive, that will delete all petitions. But in this case, I'm deleting my petitions um, individually. But I think the preferred method should be to delete the overarching. But I'm just doing it this way. You can do it either way. Okay. So I'm deleting the Orion and I'm deleting the Macintosh. But I would advise that you delete the overarching um, internal hard drive to, to avoid um, errors when you're doing your time machine um, backup. Okay. The last thing that you wouldn't want is for your recovery process to stall when you're about 80% done, okay? So when you close the disk utility, it brings you to the Mac OS utilities. Make sure that your flash drive is inserted and restart your system whilst holding the R key, R for Romeo. And as soon as your Apple um, logo and the, you know, the bar movement starts to appear, you can release your hand, but you know, you can also hold your hand through Either way is fine, it brings you to um, the window, Mac OS Utilities, and then you can click Install Mac OS from the flash drive. The, the installation of the Mac OS is the Mojave, which we installed previously on the hard drive. So that's what we're doing. Um, we've deleted our hard drive anyways, our internal hard drive, so we cannot boot from um, our hard drive. And that's why we're booting from the flash drive, which is what we're doing here. And so basically from this point onwards, we just have to run through, um, you know, the rest of the Mojave installation process and it, it will successfully install. I'm not anticipating any problems whatsoever. Um, but like I said, you know, when you're when you're erasing your internal hard drive, try as much as possible to erase the overarching um, name um, inscribed for your internal hard drive. That way you avert the um, the error problem when you're trying to recover from time machine because you know there are different instances of people 
um, raising concerns that, you know, the time machine backup stalled or um, wasn't successfully completed when they were about 80% um, almost done. And, you know, it's time consuming, it's non value added. So you'd want to you wanna get it right the first time. If you erased your individual petitioned internal hard drives in individually and your time machine backup has stalled or didn't complete successfully, I would advocate that you repeat the process and delete the overarching um, internal hard drive and that, and then reinstall your Mojave and that should um, rectify the problem. If you found the information in this video useful, don't forget to like, share and hit the subscribe button so that you can get upcoming videos as they come through. Thank you for listening and thank you for your time. Goodbye.